If you are using an iPhone and if you want to know how to change keyboard language in your iPhone, then this video is for you. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Let's start the video. Now, before explaining how to change keyboard language, you need to understand that you need to add multiple keyboard languages first, then only you will be able to change the keyboard language. For example, if I open message application for now, and if I create new message, you can see there is only English keyboard option for now. And if I press that emoji option, which is at the left hand side bottom, if I press and hold it, it is only showing me English India and emoji option. Apart from that, there are no other languages added. So in order to add the keyboard language, you can either select keyboard settings from here or else you can just simply go in settings option and in settings option, you need to go in general and then scroll down, select keyboard option over there. And on the next page, you have to select keyboards. So if I select that, now you can see only English India keyboard has been added and emoji is there. Apart from that, no other language has been added in my iPhone's keyboard. So for that, if I want to add other languages as well, there is an option of add new keyboard. You have to select that. And now you can see under suggested keyboards, you will find some of the languages, some of the keyboard languages. And if I scroll down, there are much more option under other iPhones keyboard. So you can search each and every option. You can look for your language and then you can add it. Now, for example, uh, there are much more options. There is Albanian, there is Arabic. Uh, if I go down, there is Dutch option. Uh, English Canada, English Australia, English New Zealand and Korean, Japanese, Italian. There are much more options available. So you can select any particular language. For example, if I want to select French Canada, you can see I have added French Canada now. If I want to add more languages, more, more keyboard languages, once again, select add new keyboard, go down and select whichever option you want. For example, I'm going to add Arabic now and on the next page, I'm going to select Arabic and then done. Again, we have added a language. Let's add one more. Let's add Chinese. This is just for an example, guys. Okay. On the next page, you can select whichever keyboard you want. So I'm going with this Coverty. Done. Now we have successfully added new keyboard languages, but how can you change that? For that, once again, go in message. And then if I try to change the language for now, now you can see the emoji icon has been changed to globe icon. Now you can press and hold it. And now you can check out other options as well. So there is French, there is Arabic and there is Chinese as well. So yeah, it is already changed to Chinese now. Yeah. So if you want to change, you can simply press and hold that globe option and select the desired keyboard which you want. Now it's been changed to French. If I want to change it to Arabic, I'm going to select Arabic and I'm good to go. Now if I want to type anything, I can type it. Now, this is how you can change keyboard language in Face ID iPhone. Now, if you want to change the keyboard language in Touch ID iPhone, then what is the step? Simply, you can open message application. And under keyboard, you have to press and hold that emoji option, which is on the keyboard over there. So press and hold it. And there you can find the keyboard change language option. So yeah, you need to add keyboard language. And then from here, you, you can just simply change the keyboard language in Touch ID iPhone because you won't find any globe uh, icon over there in Touch ID. So this was just a small thing to know. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, then you can like this video. If you have any question, you can write down in comment section below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.